Well, welcome to another video here at uh, Central Towing, uh, Ramos and Sons uh, to or Body Shop and Ramos Towing. Uh, Ramos Towing here now is going to have another auction coming up October the 1st. Uh, we got some really cool stuff going in this. We missed last month because we uh, needed a break. And uh, we got an auction coming up. Again, it's 710 Alberta uh, off of Henry Street here in Muskegon. And uh, let me show you some of the fine, fine vehicles I have. Behind the camera today, I got Elena, a.k.a. Jaquita. No. Yes. Okay. Uh, Dashiki. Let's take a look at this first one, man. It's going to be a cool car. I'm going to put my lookers on because, uh, you know, hey, by the way, if you didn't know, I just had eye surgery on this. I can see. It reminds me of that Eddie Murphy movie. Remember that? Which one? Trading Places. When he was blind, he was walking down like this. He starts screaming, I can see. <laughs> Whoa, thank you. Anyway, back on track here. We're going to have this cool vehicle. Now, I'm telling you, man, it's almost like, a, like one of these Cholo vehicles, man. This is how you do it, man. It's a Cholo vehicle. It's nice. It's beautiful. There's no rust on it. Um, I like the tent. What year is this? 85. What kind of car is it? A Buick Regal. Oh, 1985 Buick Regal. Lots oh, of historical vehicles. It's got a historical plate. You know what? This is rare, though. Usually you don't find these bumpers that solid. I mean, there's usually rust all over them. And it looks like all the lights and tail lights are here. I bet you, with a little bit of buffy and elbow grease, this car will look real nice. Yeah. Man, well, I don't really want to say it, but there's a, what do they call this? Well, I'll just say it in a, in a more diplomatic way. This is a, a chick magnet for those guys. <laughs> Who need a little help in picking up the ladies this would be the chick magnet it's even got the uh little deal here we popped this hood i'm curious to know about the hood. it's got to have a motor in it right i would hope so i would think so doors work let's take a nice buy see if i remember how to do this i might have to use your guns girl no, i don't have any Boy. Oh, damn, why are you gonna do this? Then bam! You got a battery. Oh, look at this. Custom made hood proper opener holder. It's got an Edelbrock intake, carburetor on it, custom painted uh, tappet covers. Hey, check it out. It's running deuces. Two batteries. Fancy. Must be for the, the sound system. The only thing I see it missing is a cap and your rump in the seat. Oh my God. Hey, let's move on to these other cars, but that is a kind of kind of a cool wrinkle. It sits nice and level. It's not all jacked up or, you know what? And this is pretty good too, this plastic here. This is usually all beat up, cracked from, uh, you know, the years, but it looks pretty decent. All right, well, we gotta get moving on to these other cars here. We got a lot going on here. so. Uh, here we got a couple of Chrysler's that are going to be going in this car or in this auction that uh, I don't know if they run or not I don't know what the deal is on them um, But they're pretty decent cars. This Brooks here. I love these Brooks. This was a nice car uh, This was running down the road You know if you're looking for something on a winter beater, this might be it. You're gonna do it in style. It's got blue caps on there and uh, Pretend you don't see this part <laughs> It's missing a little window. <laughs> you, can, you can see out of it real clear like. But uh, yeah, it's a nice little Buick. I mean, despite the window. Well, hey, what's a window? You can put a window in for a hundred bucks or so. And here's a nice charger. It's got the dual exhaust. It's running dualies. It's the RT model. It is a beautiful car. Got uh, pleather, I mean leather seats. Maybe not pleather, but they use leather got the sunroof on it again you know this one here if you can see through it's a decent little car it's got some cool headlights on it too don't it check them out the shikis so that's gonna be a nice car to go in the auction a little crack on the windshield but uh these two tires on this side are low only on the bottom though that's it so you put a little air in the bottom you're good this one here that's a winter beater you might want to just kind of disregard this one slide that to the side. 
it looks like it's been through way too many winters and beat too much here's a decent car impounded by uh, Michigan State Police put a little air in the tires I don't know if we have keys or not for but uh, it's a Monte Carlos Monte Carlos is on his list should be yeah you're right we're gonna sell it it should be yep it's a 2006 Oh. No keys impounded by the state police. The trooper boys. Them guys are never going to grow up. They're always called boys. <laughs> um, here's a, what is this, a Ford? Oh, this was taken by Roosevelt Park. So this is a Ford something or other. What you got here? You got a pair of shoes here. I don't know. He got some plants. <laughs> anyway. It's a Ford Focus. Focus, that's what it is. That looks like a decent little car. And then moving on. All right. Nice little minivans. Fit all your kids in it. <laughs> all right, next couple of cars, or not next couple, we're getting to a couple of cars that I want to really highlight. Uh, there's a Malibu here. I remember this. I had one of these when I was a 5.0. I used to drive one of these when I was in the detective bureau. It was a good little car back in the day. I mean, I liked it. You know, it got me to A to B or wherever I had to go. But I had one of these. I, I bet I drove one for, you know, four or five years. This is pretty cool. Anyway, let's move on. I want to highlight this one here. What year is this, girl? Uh, 1967. A 1967. I mean, I just... I love the back box on these. It's a short bed, short box. Um, you know, if, if this is seriously something that would be a really cool vehicle to start a project out. Yes, it has some rust, but um, if you know what you're doing, that can be repaired correctly. Somebody put an aftermarket sunroof or moonroof in there. That's kind of lame. I don't like that. I like uh, things that are original. But man, if this was fixed up, and uh, put together the right way, this would be one cool vehicle. And, and, and maybe it's too much money, I don't know. But um, if it is, then it still has some really cool parts on it. You know, it's got the rear end, the front differential, the axle, the drive shaft. The drive shaft is pretty cool. Get a, get a nice buy of that drive shaft there, Dishikis. Can you reach in there? Look at that bad boy, that's an orange one. Yeah, almost like them, uh, what, a Cleveland football team, whatever they're, whoever they are. Mm. This had a wooden bed in it. The frame is is solid, very solid. Uh, but if you redid the box and put some uh, put some new wood in it, that'd be a cool box. So this is a pretty cool truck. I, I like it a lot. You know, I, I'm not into spending money on cars, but if I was, <laughs> this would probably be the one that I'd do it to. I mean, it's it's cool. I'll show you another one. This is a beauty. North Shores Police Department impounded this one. It's a Yukon. I think you can get a better picture from this view here. Maybe I can even, uh, do, you, do you need the Cholo look? Yes. There you go. <laughs> All right. So anyway, this is a great vehicle. Uh, you know, we can, uh, it's got leather seats in it. It's got third row in there. TV up top. I'm not sure why it was impounded by Norton Shores, but uh, it is a decent little vehicle. Well, it's not little, it's kind of big, but it's a Yukon and it's cool. It says we got keys, we'll have to look that up and check it out. It's a pearl white. All right, let's get into the higher end vehicles here. This one here is a BMW. Some people say it stands for a lot of other different things, but it's, it's a car for me. Kind of a cool little car. These are cool cars. I like them, but again, you know, if I, I'm not really much into cars, but I guess if I was, it'd be pretty cool. I like the body style. I mean, it's not bad. No keys. But it looks like it's all there. Pretty nice little car. You'd have to take a guess at it. Oh, you want me? To, you want me to highlight this hot one? I do. I want. We got a hot one here today. I'm not even sure why this is going in the auction. This one should have been a scrap one because uh, the way it is, but it got a little hot. We've had a few of these in the past. It do does have a cool rim on it over here. Just one though. <laughs> Looks like somebody kissed the side. Uh, moving down, let's check out this one. Here's a sickle. 
we got us a motorcycle that's going to go on this auction. The, uh, it, I think it was running when he got pulled over, but the battery's dead. I can just picture, can you picture me? No. High rolling, doing I can't. some jumps on this? Nope. I used to ride a motorcycle. Probably the last 15, 20, 30 years I rode street bikes. So this one's gonna go in the auction. It's a, you got a nice little rack here. Got a custom headlight up front. Uh, it's got the on off switch, which is lighted. Um, nice exhaust system. It is a KTM. Uh, do you see the top of my bald head? Yes. When I bent down, watch this. Shiny. This is gonna be a nice little bike. What year is this, does it say? Uh, 1998. Oh, 98. Well, so it's, you know, something fun to ride. I'm trying to get it up against this car. This is Mike Vasquez's car. All right, so that's gonna be all right. All right, so on to the vehicles here. We've got a nice GMC with a cool, cool, whatever that is, design, logo. Uh, this one's gonna go in the auction. It's kind of beat up. If I had better days, I'd be just keep on keeping on. Uh, we've got this nice Chevy. What kind of vehicle is it? Is a bad? van. I don't. I, is, <laughs> is it bad that I don't know what cars are? Mm. It's an Uplander. That's what it is. Shit. Not a Downlander. It's an Uplander. You now on to the next. We got a PT Loser. Mm. Uh, it's got a sunroof impounded by. Department. It's probably not the cream of the crop, but check this one out. Come around here, yonder. Ta da! Nice. Missing a seat. Either that or it's for long legged guys. Next, we have a beautiful, only low on the bottom, Ford Escapi. It's not too bad. And then we have this beautiful, what is this one? This is a Dodge. Dodge. Journey SXT model. That must mean something special. Had a little accident. It runs. Airbags deployed, so you know they work. So that's good. All right, now on for another. You you high end people, you people with a couple of dollars, who seem to have extra cheese for your macaroni. Mm -hmm. This one here is a BMW SUV. Kind of a cool little car. I don't think we have a cheese for it, but. Uh, it's the X5 model. It's all together. A uh, little, little mishap on the rear bumper, but they'd be all right. And then uh, put a little air in the tire. So this one here is another car. Chrysler. You like how I say that? Another car? I don't know what the heck these are. I mean, that's how important cars are to me. I just want them fixed right. That's all. What is that? A Chrysler 200 or something along the lines? This one looks like, again, that Focus. Another focus. Hold on, folks. Hold on. We're getting to another nice one. You got to stay to the end. We got something for you. It's going to be a real good surprise. All right. Then next, we got the minivan. No. All right. We got a Chevy truck. It's got a bunch of junk in it. To some, it might not be junk. To others, it might be valuable. I don't know. But for me, it's all right. It's not worth much. Here's a nice burb. Big old suburban. Missing the back window, but you'll be all right. I wonder why. I don't know. I, don't I try not to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't my situations. So anyway, this Suburban's nice. I think it runs. Uh, next, we got a, a Mazda uh, CX9MM. Got an in love, in memory of. Looks like a decent vehicle. Looks like it's gotten into an accident years so I'm thinking this thing must run. Airbags deployed a little bit. Got some front end damage, rear end damage. So maybe this one is best for uh, parts. Hold your britches now. We got a couple more Uh This Jeep. Uh, it's a nice little Jeep. This was involved in an accident with Skegan. Uh, some light front end damage. This is kind of the cool one. It's got the all wheel drive on it. This is perfect for winter if you put it together. You got a great winter beater. That's what you need. Me? You, yeah, you need a Jeep. Okay, buy it for me then. you can haul all your illegal weed up in there, you know. Yes. All right, here we got nothing. Junk truck, van. The only thing this is good for is weight. Okay, folks. Here's the highlight. One of them. We've got this, uh, what year is this Mustang? I'll tell you what the year 2013. Is. 2013 Ford Mustang. It's got a dent here. 
and it's got a dent up front here. It is very repairable. This was actually in our body shop and got left abandoned there. The young man wanted to fix it and we kept calling him and calling him. And uh, I think after about a year, year and a half, I just said, he ain't gonna answer. So uh, we sent him a letter and, and then we uh, gone, have gone through the process to take care of abandoned vehicles through the police department. But it's a nice vehicle, it runs really nice. Um, it is repairable, like I said, we did do the estimate on it, and it did not exceed its value. Um, and it runs good. So whoever buys this is going to be somebody like a project guy. This is kind of a cool Mustang, there's no rust on it. Tail lights are nice, uh, it will need a rear bumper, but this side over here is, is in great condition. I thought we had the keys for this. I was almost positive we did. I don't know what happened. I haven't happened. been able to find them. But it is a nice car. It's all standard. It's all clean. I, I like them like this one. I like them when they're just original. I love original. So one more vehicle. Or actually, there's going to be two more. A Burke that we're going to bring down here. It's going to drive it. We're going to put it in the auction. It's a 2000 vehicle. Uh, Burke. And it runs really nice. Uh, in fact, the gentleman who had it just went to New York with it and then came back. Uh, and then I, we ended up getting him another car. So the next vehicle and the last one that I want to show is this truck. Yes, it is a little bit rusty, but it's a plow truck. It's a work truck. Um, it's not bad. You know, I, I would tell you a fella could, uh, tires are decent, could make a dollar. I don't have the keys, so I don't know if it runs. Um, the front suspension looks a little bit questionable. The back here got a back seat. Um, it's got a front seat, unlike that other one. It has four wheel drive. Take a look, show the plow switcher thing. Here. So, in the seat, I mean, yeah, it's ripped, but it's not bad for somebody who's it's been an older plow truck. I think it's pretty nice. Take a look at that door closes. You can't beat that. <laughs> and then it's got a nice little plow in the front. Um, got a good blade on here so anyway i think this is going to be a good plow truck is what year is this bad boy 1999 a 99 okay so it's a 99 and it's going to be uh, going to be a good truck you know the winter's coming up uh, but anyway uh, thanks for watching if you've watched up till heaven till now i really appreciate it we got quite a few cars going in this auction and uh it's going to be a fun time to get back into it although it was nice taking a break for a month uh, but we're going to get back into it and sell some more cars, have a great time. We'll have coffee, and of course the cop in me always wants to have donuts here, so I'll do that. Uh, October the 1st, 10 o'clock sharp, come on in, register, all you got to do is show your driver's license. We'll get the auction started, and maybe you'll drive away with a really nice cream of the crop vehicle, who knows? Or maybe a towed away, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> thanks again. If you have not, please subscribe and hit the like button. I appreciate it. Have a great day.